Open your books at page 21. Today we are going to do one number before and one number after the given number. First one has been done for you. 12 comes just after 11. 16 comes just after what number? Yes, it comes just after 15. 15 comes just after... Now you think about it. I am pretty sure you know it very well. Yes, 14. And the rest of the questions you can do yourself with the help of your teacher if you need. But I would suggest you do it yourself. Brilliant. Now coming to the next, 18 comes just before 19. The first one has been done for you. 11 comes just before what number? 12. 13 comes just before what number? 14. Yes, now you can do these sums yourselves. Very good. Brilliant. Now try it yourselves. Move on to page 22. In the previous page, we did a number before and a number after the given number. Now we are going to do the number between the two numbers. Between means in the center. Now the first one has been done for you. 12 is between which two numbers? 11, 12, 13. So 12 is between 11 and 13. Next, dash is between 13 and 15. Now start counting. 13, 14, 15. Yes, in this blank, it comes 14. 14 is between 13 and 15. Dash is between 14 and 16. Yes, I'm sure you can do it yourselves. 14. 15, 16. So 15 is the number that comes between 14 and 16. Now the rest of the page you can do yourselves, I'm sure. Okay, try it. Move on to page 23. In this page, we will look for the smaller number in each row. Two numbers are given here, 15 and 18. Now, which one is smaller? 15 is smaller than 18 because if you have 15 pencils and your friend has 18 pencils, so who has the smaller number of pencils? Exactly. 15 is smaller and you have a smaller number of pencils. Now let's look at the next number 4 and 14. Which one is smaller? Yes exactly 4 is smaller than 14. 19 and 8. Two numbers given in a pair. Now which one is smaller? Yes 8 is smaller than 19. Now you can do yourselves. Move on to the next. Here you have to encircle the bigger number. 11 and 16. Which one is bigger? The first one has been done for you. Of course, 16 is bigger than 11. Yes. 18 and 14. Which one is bigger? If you have 14 coins, and your friend has 18 coins. Now, who has more coins? Who has a bigger number of coins? Yes, your friend has a bigger number of coins. That is 18. This is how you are going to do the complete page. Let's move on to page 24. As you know, we had already done 
arranging the numbers in ascending order you know ascending means moving from smaller to the bigger number climbing up the stairs that means climbing from smaller to the bigger number four numbers are given here 5 16 18 12 and the first one has been done for you now pick out the smallest number out of these four numbers which is the smallest number 5 that comes in the first box then the next number 12 then 16 and which is the greatest number 18 that comes in the end similarly now let's move on to the second there are four numbers given 11 17 20 9 which is the smallest number here yes 9 is the smallest number and after 9 which is the next number 11 and which is bigger than 11 17 then which number comes next 20 let's arrange them in the first box you are going to write 9 then 11 yes say it out 17 and in the end you are going to write the biggest number out of all and that is 20. Now do the rest of the sums yourselves. In the next section you have to arrange the numbers in descending order. Descending order means coming down from the biggest to the smallest. Again the first one has been done for you. There are how many numbers given? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 numbers are given in this set. Which is the biggest number out of all? 19. And the next biggest? 15. Then 11. And 8 is the smallest. So we are going to write the biggest number first here. 19, 15, 11 and 8. Let's do the next together. How many numbers are here? 4. And what are those numbers? 14, 10, 6, 20. Which is the largest number here? Which is the biggest number here? Yes, 20 is the biggest. Now after 20, which is the next biggest number? 14, then 10, exactly. And 6 is the smallest. So which number are you going to write first in the descending order? Remember, in descending order, you have to move from the biggest to the smallest. And here the biggest number is 20. Then comes 14, then 10, and in the end, what are you going to write? Exactly the smallest number, and that is 6. Brilliant. I'm sure you are going to do the rest of the questions yourselves. Remember, we have already done 1s and 10s. 1s and 10s. Tens. If you have 15 pencils, it is written same as make a bundle of 10 pencils first. Yes, make it. And how many pencils are left out of that bundle? 5 pencils. That means you have one bundle of 10 pencils and 5 pencils you, have, you are left with. So, you are going to write is 110 and 5 ones. In case of 110 and 2 ones, it is just the same as 110 means 10. 
and two ones, two. Ten plus two, twelve. This is what you are going to write here. Now coming to nineteen, put, make the bundles of nineteen pencils. One bundle you have been able to make. And how many loose pencils are here? Nine pencils. That means you have one bundle of ten pencils and nine pencils, nine ones. This is written as 19 is same as one ten and nine ones. Now in this way, you do the rest of the sums yourself. Encircle the smallest and cross the biggest number in each box. You know it already, you have practiced it and I'm sure you can do it because the first one has been done for you. Now it's just the matching and I'm sure you know it very well because you have done several such questions in the previous pages.